All right, so in this video, we'll take a look at dependent jobs. So what we'll do, uh, I'll open this up in a second tab, the actions tab, we'll hit period. And I think I have a template for this one, I'm not sure. If it's not good, we can always uh, rework it, but I think there is one here for jobs. Uh, I don't see one, that's totally fine. I don't care if we have one or not. So we'll go ahead and just make our own. So let's just say new file. I'll call this one jobs YAML. All right, and we'll just say name job depth jobs example. All right, and so this shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, we want you to say um, on, and we'll just make this on push as per usual. I don't know if I disabled the last one. I just don't want to have a job on here and this one runs, so I'm gonna disable this. There we go. Okay, so um, yeah, that one's disabled. We'll go back over to here and we now need to define our job. So we have jobs and we have job one and job two. And so the idea is that um, a job, and we'll do them out of order just so that we can see how this, if it will do this in the order that we want. So we'll do job two up here and job one down below. And then the idea is it will say needs job one to complete. And so now we need to uh, put something in this. So we'll say steps, uh, and this will have steps. And mm, do we give steps names? No, it's just that, okay, great. So we'll go ahead and type in name, colon, we'll say uh, step one. And then over here, I'll just say step A and step B. Step A, step B. And this will just be run, and this will just be echo. Hello. And this one will be world. And so, well, this one's the first step, so I'm gonna call this one hello, this one world. And so that should be okay. I'm not sure why it's giving me a problem here. Runs on, oh yes, runs on. So this would be within the job, runs on Ubuntu latest. And then this one would be down below here. So let's go ahead and give that a test. So jobs uh, workflow example, and we will push that. We will make our way over to here and hopefully we don't have any issues. So we'll wait for that to see if it works. There we go, and so that one has completed, but did it do in the order that we want, job one to job two. So notice that it's showing uh, the relationship between it, so that is really cool, I like that. Um, so that is nice. Now the question is, if we didn't have that depends, so we see this visual with this, this pipe in between, but if we didn't have that depends, what would we see, right? That's the question. So go ahead and do this and try, uh, try again without the depends. Okay, and just remember what this looks like, job one to job two, and then we'll go back to actions here, and we'll take a look and see what happens. And notice now they're just kind of grouped together. We'll let it finish and see what happens. There we go, okay, and so, yeah, uh, that's pretty straightforward. So you get kind of a visual thing, and I suppose that could get pretty complex uh, depending on what your setup looks like, but I'd say that is good enough for now, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just disable this, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.